Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, today I'm going to be showing you the best full invisible body glitch in GTA Online. If you're new to this channel and you find this video useful, it would mean a lot if you could drop a like and subscribe, it's greatly appreciated. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Looking for the best cheap GTA 5 services? Then make sure to check out Sebi Mods, as they offer the best and cheapest GTA 5 services like modded accounts, money services, RP services, and a lot more for a very cheap price. You can get 1 billion for just $100. They do all these services for PC, PS4, and Xbox. If you want to buy any of this, then make sure to head to the description and click the link. Also, make sure you use code EVADEX at checkout to get 10% off of your order. Right, so first up, you just want to head to any clothing store and then head up to this woman at the till. Then what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and delete all of your saved outfits. As you can see, I have now deleted all of my saved outfits. Then you want to go into the main menu, go into online and then head down to swap character. Then once you have loaded in, you can see my main character is on the left. You then simply want to go ahead and change this character on the right to a female. So as you can see, I've now changed it to a female, then you want to simply save and continue and it will make you take a picture. Then you want to go ahead and capture the photo and then it will take you to an online session. Once you've loaded into an online session, you want to open up the map and see if you can see any clothing stores. If you can't like me, no problem, all you want to do is go ahead and load into a new session. Once you've loaded into a new session, you want to open up the interaction menu, enable passive mode, and then you want to check the map to see if you can see any clothing stores. Then, just as I am here, you just want to simply go and head over to any clothing store on the map. Once you're in a clothing store, you want to head over to the accessories area, and then you want to simply check if your character has any earrings or any leather straps equipped. If they do, just like mine has white leather straps equipped, all you want to do is go ahead and unequip all of these items. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and equip some light woodland armoured gloves. And we're doing this as we're starting to create the first outfit for the glitch to work. Once you've equipped that, you want to simply go on over to shoes. Then you want to head into high heels and equip some deluxe midnight combat boots. To make your lives easier, it's number 24. You then want to head over to pants. Then you want to head down to cargo pants and equip some navy cargoes, which are number 38. You then want to head on over to tops and equip a grey smooth fitted jacket. However, you're not quite done in tops yet, you then want to back out and head down to tactical jackets. You then want to head to number 79, the khaki tactical blouse on. And as you can see, you have your previous shirt poking through this tactical jacket. Then you want to head over to this woman, and then you want to simply save this outfit as something like Invis 1. And then bam, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and start to make your second outfit. So for the second outfit, in order to make the glitch work, you want to go ahead and head to Sport Pants and get the first one, Spotted Muscle Pants. You then want to go ahead and head to Tops and you want to head on down to Work Jackets and then from here you want to go all the way down to number 38, the Peach Camo Closed Field. Once you've equipped that, you want to head on down to Tucked T-Shirts and then you want to go ahead and get the Blue Digital T-Shirt number 75. You then want to open your interaction menu, head into style and equip your light woodland armoured gloves. Once you've done this, you want to head on over to the woman at the till and you want to simply save this just underneath the first one as Invis 2. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and take the easy way out. Once you've loaded back in, you want to head into the GTA online menu and then you want to go ahead and head down to creator. You then want to create a land race and you literally just fill in the race details as anything you'd like. I'll just put some waffle here as you can see and then you want to go ahead and take a photo. From here you want to go and make sure that the maximum players is 3 people. You want to make sure that it's a point to point race and you can just select the car as anything. 
you then want to head on down to placement and in terms of placing the trigger you want to open the map up and I just thought it was easier to head on down to the airport because it's a nice long stretch of road uh, so yeah you just want to teleport over here this part is really simple you just want to select a trigger location and then you want to just keep selecting checkpoints um, until the race is at least 0.6 miles so that you can start it you also want to quickly take the lobby camera photo but yeah I'm just going to quickly speed through building the race it's really easy so as you can see I've now hit 0.6 miles so I'm just going to simply go ahead and test out the race. Once you finish you want to go ahead and accept the alert and then you want to simply open up the GTA menu and you want to head over to online and swap character. You then want to go ahead and delete the female character you've previously made. You then want to go ahead and return to Grand Theft Auto 5. Once you've loaded into story mode, you want to go into the online menu and open up an invite only session. Then you want to simply head into any clothing store and head up to the woman at the till. From here you can check you've got both your invisible outfits saved. And then you can just go ahead and save this outfit as whatever you had it called beforehand, if you want to keep what that is. You then want to head on down to biker suits, um, and then you can just select any of them, but I chose the black one because I thought this would look best with the glitch. You then want to head into the online menu, you want to open up jobs, play job, then you want to go to bookmark, the link is in the description for the job you need for the glitch, then you want to go to missions and open up it's a gfim. You then want to make sure that player saved outfits are on and then you want to just simply invite any friend to join you with this job. As you will see you now have both of your invisible outfits saved, I like this second one more so I'm going to go ahead and go with this, um, and yeah you just want to load into the job. Then you want to simply head over to your apartment. So as you can see I'm now calling in my deluxe, so you also want to make sure that your friend doesn't get the police or anything. But yeah, like I said, you just want to simply head over to your apartment. Once you're in it, surprise, surprise, you just want to go and head over to your wardrobe. You then want to go ahead and save this outfit as invisible. Then you can simply go ahead and exit out of the job through your phone. As you can see, you will then load into an online session. You then want to go into the interaction menu and you want to select the invisible outfit. And there you go. It is such a good glitch. Um, you can literally, it will stay invisible uh, for all of the jobs. However, when you're in an online session, there's a chance that your joggers might come back. However, that's all right. All you need to do is simply go into the interaction menu and reselect the outfit and it will disappear. Overall, I'd say this is probably the best full invisible body glitch in GTA at the moment. So yeah. Like I've said, if you found this video useful, it would mean a lot if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel. But yeah, I'll catch you all in a bit.